What's happening YouTube? Welcome back. So we have one last check we need to do on this 206 so I can get this engine put back together and that is to find the camshaft center line. So the same procedure I used when I zero out my degree wheel by finding top dead center, zeroing out my dial indicator, going before 50 thousandths and after 50 thousandths and then splitting the difference. We're gonna use that same procedure on our intake lobe, but instead of top dead center, we're gonna use max lift. And then instead of 50 thousandths, we're actually gonna use two tenths uh, before and after, take our measurements and then split the difference. So it's a real simple check. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get set up. We'll zero out our degree wheel just for transparency. And then we'll move the dial indicator over the intake lobe and we'll find our center line. Okay, first things first, let's get our degree wheel zeroed out. So we'll need to find top dead center on our dial indicator. And then we'll go before 50 thousandths fifteen and a half and then we'll go after fifty thousandths fifteen and a half okay so our degree will is zeroed out so we'll go ahead and we'll move our dial indicator over the intake lobe And instead of finding top dead center, what we're going to do is we're going to find our max lift and zero out our dial indicator. About right there and definitely roll through it a few times just to be sure. Okay, so there's our max lift right there. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go counterclockwise, two tenths, so two full revolutions of the dial indicator, and then we'll check our measurement, remember the number, then we'll bring it back to max lift, and then we'll go after two tenths of a millimeter, and then we'll check our number, and we'll write that down as well. So let's go ahead and go back. There's one, two right there. Take a look at our number. It's about four and a half, right in between four and five. Let's call that four and a half. So remember that number. Now let's take it back to max lift. Right there. And now we're gonna wanna go before, or excuse me, after two tenths. So there's one, two, right there. Let's see where we're at. So we've got 90, 180, 190, 200, 205. 209 and a half so let's call that 209 and a half so go ahead and remember that number let me pull out my calculator so we had four and a half plus 209 and a half divided by two and that is our camshaft center line 107 so from there guys once you have that number that's pretty much really all it tells you is your center line you can take a look at your engine 
and you know the other one will be easier to see and on your engine seal there's going to be a number you've got a seven digit number right here right underneath the barcode what you'll do is you'll take that number you'll go over to the Briggs website you'll drop your number in there and you can actually register your engine to you um, probably have to put your email address in there I forget set up an account or whatever and then you can actually pull up your specs of your engine from Briggs and then you can check your camshaft center line um, where it came out of the factory and then where it is today when you've got it on your workbench just so you can make sure that, uh, that your engine is definitely within spec probably not a measurement you'll need to worry about too much if you're just club racing but if I was ever going to run um, a high-level national Briggs event, I definitely would double-check double my camshaft just to make sure that it falls within spec and uh, everything's going to be good to go when you roll through tech. All right, guys, so that should be it with the degree wheel on the 206, short of maybe trying to measure out the overlap between the intake and exhaust. But... Definitely appreciate you guys for watching. Plan your race, race your plan, have a good time at the track.